Hey everyone, and welcome back to FameCast. This is episode 60, and we've got a few topics to discuss today. We just got fresh off of a uh, fun weekend with the Gears 5 tech test. Uh, we got news a couple weeks ago about the Switch Lite, the next installment in the Nintendo uh, console family. And we also got lots of news from San Diego Comic-Con around Marvel's uh, Phase 4 slate. So definitely lots to, uh, uh, to talk about. So I say we just jump right into it with probably what's uh, freshest on everyone's mind, the, uh, the Gears Tech Test. Um, so I know, Tim, you've been looking forward to this since we got hands-on with it at, uh, at E3. Um, and this was Trey's first time playing. Um, so mm -hmm. maybe let, let's uh, kick it off with you, Trey. What what did you think about the uh, the Gears Tech Test from what you played? It sucked. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, it, <laughs> no, it was pretty good. Um, I just think once the game is out, I'm hoping a lot of the bugs that we incurred um, they get ironed out. Uh, I know there was some issues. I think some of the crossplay was given that some issues, but uh, for the most part, the gameplay was solid. I mean, it felt pretty good. Um, I liked in the, what was it, the arcade mode, where it was like, mm, yeah. the death, however, however many kills you With got, skulls would be like and stuff. the skull, yeah, the skull yeah. counter thing. Um, so, like, the better you did, like, the more stuff you would unlock. Um, and, like, the more skulls, the more damaging the weapons you were, would, would you get. You just got higher tier weapons, basically. Yeah, higher tier, yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Uh, it, was, it, was, it was solid, though. Like, it felt great on PC. I played it on PC, personally. Um, I know the settings kept resetting every time I would, uh, like, come in and out of a game, which was a little annoying, but it's it was it was fine for the most part. Um, I, I run on, like, the recommended settings, so it's just, like, a GTX 970. And, I mean, it ran, like, at 90 FPS the entire time. Nice. Um, overall, the gameplay feels good. The pacing is pretty pretty good. It's not too fast, not too slow. Uh, the movement I'm still getting used to. Um, you used mouse and keyboard, didn't you? I did. I that did use mouse and keyboard. That would have been really it, rough, actually. It was interesting, but um, yeah. I bodied a lot of people because of that long mm. shot. It was just It's mm. easy. You just My bay. click the head and gone. Bloody mess. But it was good. Overall, I liked it a lot. It was fun. I'm just ready for... The full release at this point yeah yeah i know i had uh just from what i played at e3 i had a, i had a tough time getting used to the um the movement just because i'm not a gears player um mm -hmm. just because it's it's a different kind of um it's a different kind of shooter like when when you um like when you're running for cover um mm -hmm. it, it's like you're directing a uh, like a runaway something i don't know it, it's <laughs> a runaway, a runaway something, something. I couldn't make a good comparison. I, I don't know. The controls were just weird, but um, Tim, you're you're uh, you're definitely a Gears fan. This is something mm, you've been looking forward so. to, um, and I know it wasn't necessarily the game mode that um, you were most looking forward to. But what did you think about uh, versus? So like it worked well. I'll say the last day of the beta worked really really well. Like Trey, I think if we would have played the last day, you wouldn't have had any of the issues that you had. Um, like it was super smooth. We were able to play matches. Like we got into the rank King of the Hills and the escalations, oh, nice. which. Like oh, like Trevor said, I'm I'm a I'm a hardcore like Warzone slash Execution fan. Those are the game modes I prefer because there's no respawning, so you have to be smart. You have to be clever about what you do. You can't just run in there like a chicken with your head cut off. Like you have mm. to. There's a lot of like you'd be like, okay, two people go this way, two people go this way, this, and then hopefully your side of the like like wins for the most part. But those are also those matches that you have those epic like one v five comebacks, you know, and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. and there's a lot of hype behind those things that, that make those game modes really fun for me. But for what we played, of the three that we played, I definitely like arcade the best. Um King of the Hill and Escalation was fun. Es I've never been a fan of Escalation. Every game mode I just don't I don't like Escalation. G King of the Hill's okay. Um but arcade mode was fun. It was very fluid. Like very, 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 very few times did I ever shoot somebody and feel like I didn't like I should have done something like oh I should have killed yeah. him or something like it yeah. actually everything That's felt true. like it connected especially the long shot like oh, yeah. the long shot has been my favorite weapon in all the Gears of War games and it just when you hit somebody you hit somebody like there's no question about it like boom pop dead move on next um, is that the one where um I like you shoot the bow and it explodes that's the no, Torque that's, Bow. Torque that's Bow is... Bow. Yeah. yeah, Torque Bow was actually... I think Torque Bow was my favorite in Gears 2. Okay. I got really good at the Torque Bow in Gears 2. And you know, funny enough, 
I'm a diehard Gears of War fan. I've been a fan since day one. Me and my buddy uh, DJ Moonpickle. I mean, that was like our game. That was our competitive game for like years. Even in Gears of War 2, where for those of you who are fans of Gears of War and played Gears of War 2 competitively, you will know and remember just how much of a lag fest that game was. But we didn't mm -hmm. care. We played past it because fuck it, it's Gears of War, right? Yeah. Um, and like this is like, just like the polar opposite. Like it was just everything worked really, really well. The first day had issues, and that's to be expected. Hence, it's a technical test. Right, like, right. That's what it's there for, is for us to find these issues and for them to work them out, in which they did for the most part. Yeah. Um, we got, what, a second round coming next weekend, right? Yeah. Yep. On just a so, couple of days from now. Maybe I'll get to see, like, Execution of Warzone. I don't really care about which one of those I get to see. I just want to see one of them. I, I, those mm. are just the modes I enjoy. I mean, worst case scenario, I know I'm going to see them in full release. Um but I, overall, my experience with it was well. And look, I got bodied a lot. Like I'm not even gonna lie. Like especially that last night I played. I mean, I got wrecked playing King of the Hill. I mean, and it was just bad. And some of that has to do with the fact that you know you're playing, you just don't have a team, so you're really relying on other people. And I'm not even gonna say they were all bad compared to me. Like I was just not having. A, I just I was just getting wrecked myself. But it was okay because even when I was getting destroyed, I never questioned it. You know right. what I mean? I didn't really say, well, that shouldn't have happened. Well, my shot. I I, I didn't have that moment. I was frustrated. But I never thought, like, it wasn't fair. Like, there were some guys, sure. like, you can tell. I can tell I've been out of the game too long. Because I didn't really play Gears 4 a whole lot. And even Gears 3, I dabbled in. Like, I enjoyed it, but I didn't play it a ton, even though it's, Gears is still, like, my multiplayer game of choice. Um, mm -hmm. So I can tell I'm just out of the game. Like, I'm watching people wall bounce like I used to do in Gears 1 <laughs> and 2. And I'm just like, how do I do this again? I don't remember doing this so well. Like, because... <laughs> yeah. It's just so crazy, and, and, and it got me excited and, like, terrified all at the same time because I'm excited to get back into this, and, like, I want to go hard in Gears 5 and, like, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. But, man, like, I, I got learnings I got to do. I got to get I gotta get that, like, muscle memory and all that shit back in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. I feel on that, too, man. It's like a, I didn't really play anything but the arcade mode, mm. so I, have no, I, I don't even know what Escalation is, and I didn't even touch the ranked mode either. But yeah, that's okay. I mean, for the most part, yeah, I mean... If you if you messed up at all, like that was your fault. Yeah. Like you can't blame the game on that. You th like it felt good. Like the game it felt did. good. Like everything felt like it connected. Um. Yeah. It it just felt overall it felt fantastic. I mean, one of my favorite things about Gears of War in general is after two, I think two is where it started. Like from two on, there was always something for everybody. You had a great campaign mode. Like, if you want a good story, mm -hmm. Gears of War, at least the first three games, the story is there. 100% the story is there. It is so good. It's emotional. One of the few games I've actually, like, shed tears in because of how good it was, like, in terms of, like, just moments that happen. Um, yeah. If you like competitive multiplayer, it's there. One of the biggest competitive multiplayer games that you can have in, in terms of a shooter is Gears of War, yeah. right? But if you like to do PvE mode, Horde mode is perfect. Horde mode is phenomenal in the Gears of War series. Yeah, I'm excited to try that out when that comes yes. out. Man. I haven't played Horde mode in so long. I know people who literally will buy it just for Horde mode because of just how good Horde mode always winds up. Like, mm -hmm. Trevor, I know you're not a huge competitive person, like, like in terms of, like, getting big in a multiplayer, mm -hmm. but I almost guarantee you would enjoy it. You would love Horde mode. That's all like, I played in Gears time. 3. Yeah, it's just a good that's, time. That's all I played in Gears 3 for sure. Um, So, like, that's my favorite thing. It's just this... There's always something to do. If I get pissed off in multiplayer where I just need a break, I can go to horde mode and get that break and enjoy just wrecking AI. Like, yeah, it's just a good time. So I'm super stoked for September because and we get a horde beta next month. Like that's oh, really? the thing next month nice. is a horde beta, right? So oh, we get the nice. multiplayer this month, I know about that. horde next month, and then release September. Um, right on. I so no just idea. that's I, gonna be fun. I'm stoked. I thought the test went well overall. Overall, it went well. Start off rocky, fixed it up. Yeah. Um, sure. Next weekend, we'll see what they come with. I, I hope there's some more stuff. Um, hope everything works out as well as it did. I need more people to play it with so I can just stop screaming at myself and scream at other people. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll download it on Xbox so I can play with you. So yeah, the I, I think the crossplay will work because we even got into some matches together. Yeah. Yeah, we did. So, I mean, you're welcome to play it on Xbox, of course. I would recommend a controller, but at the same time, if you're bodying people with a mouse and keyboard, fucking go for yeah, it. Yeah, I was destroying people. Like, I think I went, there's one game where I went like. 30 and 5. Yeah. Get, it was pretty ridiculous. It. Run it yeah. up. I'm okay with this. I yeah. was destroying um, people, dude. It was awesome. <laughs> Trevor, I think you should try to play with us just because. I know it's not yeah. your thing, but maybe just get a match. I mean, like, like you said, I'd, I would, um, I'm, I definitely like the idea of Horde mode. Um, I, that, that's all I touched in Gears 3, so I'd, I'd be excited to, to check it out in 5 and 
who knows? Maybe I'll, I'll play some of the the regular versus. Modes then we got as that well. new mode. We got to that we can play together. It's, I did escape so or three V yeah, whatever. Yeah, I do really like uh, escape or whatever. Escape. It is. That's it. Um, yeah, I want to try that. I'm excited. Yeah, that so that that'll be kind of that'll be kind of interesting because um, that's that's not online at all, right? I mean, uh, it, like it's it like is, it's the maps are made by people, but right. like it's just a cooperative experience. Right. It's um, there's no verses involved. It's all co-op. Correct. Um, but yeah, the the fact that you can make maps sounds really cool. Um, mm -hmm. I think between that and horde mode, it definitely gives me a reason to pick up gears. Mm -hmm. Granted, oh, yeah, granted, sure. I've got Game Pass. Um, so I, I have it regardless, yeah. but even even uh, if I didn't, if I wasn't a Game Pass uh, subscriber, it's something I would still pick up. It's, now it's, for, yeah. how many of the unlocks did you get, Tim? Um, I, I okay, I think I got the banner. It didn't. I don't. I, all I had to do was rank up the star thing, right? I'm pretty sure I got I the so, banner. Yeah. I got the snub pistol. I got the lancer. I don't think I got the nasher. I did not win 15 games for sure. Actually, I'm positive I didn't get the nasher. We just, I just, yeah, I, think I'm, dude, I, think we, I lost so much. Wow. Like I really did. We our teams just we just we lost a lot, and it was okay. Like again, I I, I accepted it. It's fine. Um, we just it's we fine. Lost Everything's a lot. fine. Uh, yeah. It's fine. Hopefully, I get a chance to get it again in in, in week two in the, or in the next weekend because I will I will put my time. And I just didn't get enough time to play it. I mean, realistically True. speaking, I played Friday. Didn't play really at all Saturday except for like an hour or two at night when I got home at yeah. like one o'clock in the morning right. and Jeez. didn't play at all Sunday because I just had things to do. So realistically, I just didn't even have the time to, to try and like grind for it. Um, so, but I, I'm off next Sunday. So I'm going to try to play. Nice. Play. Do you, so with, with all these different modes, what do you see the, uh, the competitive scene looking like with, uh, with Gears 5? So, the one thing I think when it comes to competitive uh, Gears of War that bothered me too, that started to bother me, and it's actually started in 3, and I think the reason I didn't go super hard in 3, and 4 I didn't go hard in for a reason, I just didn't have anyone to play it with, like realistically speaking, uh, I just didn't have people to play 4 with, but 3, they were, they were, the people were there, but the thing that bothered me in 3 the most was there are almost too many weapons, like, there really are a lot of power weapons to pick up in that yeah, game. Right. And almost to the point to where it's overwhelming. And I kind of get the sense in 5 being that way as well. So, I mean, the competitive scene will be there. It always is for Gears. I don't know if it'll ever be as hyped as, like, League of Legends or something, you know, or Overwatch. I don't think it'll ever be that big. I hope it does. It'd be great. Um, but I feel like there needs to be some kind of control over the power weapons themselves. Like, they're good. But, like, yeah. back in Gears of War 1, Ge Gears of War 1, <laughs> Gears of War 1 and 2, like... You had your torque bow, you had your long bow for them, and their boom shots. Sure. Those were pretty much it. Like that, and grenades. That was it. Yeah. Those were your power weapons, Dude, and the, um... they were big. Like if you got like the boom shot, that's a huge advantage. Or if you got the sniper, that's a huge advantage. Now there's a drop shot. There's this. There's like there's I don't know. There's a lot. I think there's going to be like a competitive lockout for weapons. Mm, that would um, be big. So like obviously there's going to be some guns that aren't going to be in competitive. Like some of them, yeah. it may be in like a few specific maps where they'd be like allowed to use this weapon. Right. But um, it'll probably be be on a format of like a pick and choose or like a ban system maybe because there's so many guns. Um, but I remember I was watching um, was it ESL or Gears Open? One of the two. Mm. And they like the teams were popping off at each other. Like it was such a fun watch. Like I could see it. Uh, oh, it's a brutal game. If, I can see like, it blowing up if you know if it mm -hmm. gets enough uh, like advertisement and stuff like the that. The amount of shit talking that happens in Gears of War is oh yeah, like there are people like major. like one of the guys like he was like uh, I think he's from like Spain or from Mexico or something like that. But he like got up and he was like, you're "Trash, your whole team is trash." Uh -huh. I'm like, "Oh my god, dude! Like, let's go. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is about to be sweet. I'm ready to watch some of this." Yeah, it, it's insane. Like, I mean, I try not to be toxic, but look, mm, things happen. Words happen. Oh, yeah. Dude, <laughs> I, was getting, mood. I was getting pretty toxic when I was playing. Like, I was destroying people. Mm -hmm. Like, I was literally carrying my team, like, right. destroying people. It was amazing. Right. It's And it feels so good when you pop it a does. head off with a longbow. Oh, yeah. Do we get no a quick better snipe? feeling. Hmm. Especially yeah, those quick any, snipes. Mm, felt those quick snipes Especially on PC, I'm just, like, hiding... I see a guy peek up. He's like looking around for me because he knows I'm there. I'm just like, mm. and then down. Mm. It's just yep. good times. Nice, Trevor. You could be a good sniper. You never know. You never know. Sometimes yeah, man, you I know mean, you think I might be terrible at a game, and all of a sudden I have one 
I have one glory moment, and that's that's all I got for that game. <laughs> Trevor's gonna be like top MLG player of Gears of War. Right. No one sees no. it coming. <laughs> I still always come back to that that shot in Apex. Mm, such a good shot. Oh yeah, <laughs> it was such a good shot. Man. <laughs> oh man. And then he never touched it again. Yep. <laughs> right. <laughs> I haven't played since season t- uh, two. He came peaked. Out. He stopped. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I need to stop while I'm ahead for sure. <laughs> right. For sure. Gotta let, gotta let everyone else catch up to him, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. still not there. <laughs> so we've we've got an uh, another versus tech test this coming weekend, um, and we have the horde mode. Is it just one weekend in August? I think it's I think it's one weekend, but who knows? I mean, okay, they could probably push it for two. Wouldn't surprise if me. it if it gets popular enough or if it gets enough. Because uh, it comes out, I think you get early access if you're an ultimate pass member on like September sixth for the whole game. Yeah, oh, it's like less than two months away. We're like a month and a half away. Nice, dude. Release, I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, it's so three I need days to freaking early. play. Yeah, it's the, yeah, yeah, exactly. I need to freaking play four. I need to get. I need to run through that story super quick on four just to remember what the hell happened. Because I you let me know. Remember. I have it installed on my computer so we can cross play it. Let's do yeah, it. We'll just yeah. Run, I like, think we mode just to kill it real quick. I bet we could have some some uh, some great run throughs on Escape with the three of us. Yeah, get oh, our yeah. coordination down. Trevor, each. what the hell are you doing? Yeah. There's a dog Hilly. over here. Hilly. <laughs> Hilly. The gas is coming. <laughs> but the Bucket dog. But the dog. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for Gears. Um, but switching gears. Switching gears. <laughs> um, so, yeah, a, a couple weeks ago, I mean, we, we've been talking about this rumor for months, uh, it seems. Not talking about a, a Switch Lite. It's um, the one I deserve. Yeah, so uh, you if you've listened to our podcast before, you've probably heard us discuss um, the, the other additions to the Switch family that have been rumored, the Switch Pro and the Switch Lite. No word on a, on a Switch Pro, um, but we did get a, a Switch Lite and an improved version of the regular Switch. Um, Wait, what? Yes. Yeah. Did you not hear oh, this, Tim? No, no, I did not hear about the improved version of the regular Switch. Well, what great news, because I have information to share with you. What? How did I miss <laughs> this? Why did I not get it's, this information? They So apparently they've been in circulation for a while, but uh, they finally... Is it not worth my time? No, it's. I mean, it, it's the same Switch that you have now, just um, a little bit better battery life. Everything else is exactly the same. Oh, well... Pfft. Yeah. It's it's nothing nothing crazy. So let's let's talk about the Switch Lite for a second. So we and all the rumors that we talked about the past couple of months, we knew that the Switch Lite was going to be a a less powerful or that that was our guess, right? Less powerful, more cost effective, um, with la- maybe lacking some features, um, and that that's pretty much what happened. Basically. So if we if we kind of run through a comparison here. Um, so screen size is a little bit smaller. has about a 5.5 inch screen. Um, and then these uh, compared to the screen size on the regular Switch, 6.2 inches. Um, the other, uh, well, probably the biggest thing with it is that you can't remove the Joy-Cons and that they're, they're built in. Um, okay. That's not to say that you can't connect additional Joy-Con. Uh, like if you wanted to uh, have other people join in, say, on Mario Kart or something like that. Granted, it would be a very small screen. Um, and does, it have a, does it have a? I wonder if it has like a kickstand. That I don't know. I don't know if it has a kickstand. I wouldn't. Th- I wouldn't um, think so. Actually, I do because I have a handy chart with me, and it does not have a kickstand. So how do you? So you're not really gonna play Mario Kart with it then, because you hold mm-hmm. it. And then, I mean, you okay. can you can connect additional Joy-Con for whatever purpose you might okay. have a reason to. I guess you can buy a stand. Like or I even if you stand. just wanted to, like, if you had a stand and you just wanted to play like this instead of. Real yeah, handheld right, if you wanted right, to prop right, it up right, or something. Yeah, like I was thinking you should be able to connect the the other controller to it, right? The uh, Pro mm-hmm. Controller? Okay. But okay, yeah. go on. Um, so same same graphics processor, same memory. Um, it doesn't dock, so it, it just can't dock at all. There's you can't no play HD. docked games. Correct. So there are some games that you have to play docked. Um, and you Which, what are they? Do we know those games, by the way? Uh, like 1-2-Switch, right? Uh, Does it have that, to be docked? Uh, I don't know. I don't think that's one. I'm pretty sure that's one you can play handheld. Okay. Well, um, that's my only one I can think of. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I I know there's none that I have that are 
dock only. Like there's um, Mario Party. There's like that one mode that you can't play in handheld. I think there's like a, a mode in Mario Party that you can't play in handheld. You can't play in uh, dock. Okay. Switch games that don't support handheld mode. Okay. Listening. Super Mario Party. Oof. 1 2 Switch. Nintendo Ooh, nice. Labo. Oh, Just wait, Dance. And Fitness Boxing. So those are those are the ones that don't support it. <laughs> fitness These Boxing are, you're just Right. Switch games that aren't as convenient in handheld mode. Well, these are kind of that's I'm not even gonna read those off. That's just them being picky for other reasons. Yeah. But there are apparently okay. So switch games that rely on motion controls. There's a ton of those. I don't. They don't really rely I on. It. Like this. Okay. Okay. This this website has one good list, and it's that. So there are only five games according to said list right. that does not support handheld mode. And one two switch funny. makes sense because um, a lot of those games require the HD rumble. Right. Which these the, the built-in controllers here don't have. Yeah. Um, yeah. So run, running through the rest of the the list of features before we kind of discuss it. Um, so no HD rumble, no uh, kickstand, um, and then the battery life. So we're looking at three to seven hours versus, and, and this is where we might have to just um, kind of break down a little further. So the original switches, the ones that we have, are two point five hours to six point five hours. Huh? The new switch, which everything else is the same, just better battery life, is four point five hours to nine hours. Dang. Okay, that's actually a big. That's pretty good. Two hours. Yeah. So that's a that's big difference from the the current switch light or the the switch light and the the new yeah. the new switch. Um, if you compare it the switch light to the switches that we have, it's only a, a half hour difference. Yeah. Hmm. So. Then we get down to price, and it's a hundred dollar difference between the two. So three hundred for the original Switch, and then two hundred for the Switch Lite. In, in my opinion, I still think that's. I it's, think they're asking too much for what yeah, they I agree. for what they took out. Um, yeah. So you don't have HD Rumble, no removable Joy-Con. You only added you an extra Mario half Party. hour, huh? You just can't play Mario Party. Yeah, you just like, can't play just specific games. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it doesn't include a dock, which we know a dock is, what, 70 bucks, 60 bucks? Yeah, so even if you just take the dock out of the equation, that's, you've got a $30 difference right there. Mm-hmm. So True. $30 includes no, no removable Joy-Con, no HD rumble, um, and then somewhere in there you factor in that extra half hour of battery life, and the fact that you lose uh, some screen size as well. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. now don't get me wrong. I think the Switch Lite is a a great entry level switch. Uh, maybe something for um, a younger audience, or maybe right. for an audience that travels more and they're not really home all that often. I think it's I think it's a great addition to some uh, potential Switch users. But I think for us, um, to where we're going to be like heavily gaming, we've got Smash Brothers, Zelda, Mario, Metroid, what whatever. We we need the dock solution. We need um, we need some of these. We don't features. want to miss out on something, so we're gonna we're gonna want yeah. all the features we can get. Yeah. As where mom who has five children and you know they all want to switch doesn't want to spend three hundred dollars on each switch. Here you guys go. I mean, there she just saved what five hundred bucks and got yeah. everybody a switch for two hundred dollars each. So yeah. the audience is there for it. I'm not saying it's a terrible like device. It's just it's not for us. Yeah, it is definitely for I would say a specific group of people more so. For sure, um, I think the value of it isn't as good as what it could be, but it's I mean it's still a hundred dollars cheaper. So if you need to save on that money and you want really want to play Pokemon, there you go. Yeah, yeah, that's the only thing that gets me is the cost. I I think if they made it one fifty, I mm-hmm. think it would be great. Um, Oh yeah, they'd be flying off the shelves if it was yeah. one fifty. And one of yeah. the their taglines is like for the person always on the go. Yeah, and I'm like, okay, that makes sense. But I'm just like, wait, my switch is always on the go as it is. Yeah, <laughs> and it, true. Also, like I, I'm, I'm saying this like I, I know the the cost included in all these things. The only, the only thing I know is that a dock costs seventy bucks, and that's that's where I'm getting my logic from. There could be a lot more included with, 
um, you know, the battery life, screen size, HD rumble. There's a lot there that we don't see. Um, so yeah, I mean, maybe it does make sense cost-wise, and they're that's the best that they can do. Maybe they're, um, you know, potentially they're close to taking um, or not hitting the the profits that they want to with it. Maybe so, they just know. release a Switch Pro for four hundred dollars, and Tim will buy it. Yeah, yeah, that too. One hundred percent. I mean, just saying. You, you wouldn't be the only one, Tim. I'm willing to give you my money. Yeah, give me that 1080p undocked. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Yeah. That smooth 60 FPS. 4K 1080p. <laughs> Wait. It just melts in your hand. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> so I don't know. That's the, those are my two cents on it. Um, great, great console in my opinion. Still a little uh, overpriced. Yeah. Um, just with what they've taken out, and with not a whole lot of added value. But uh, the color choice is kind of weird too, dude. Like I so I will say I love the uh, the color scheme of the Pokemon one. Pokemon oh yeah, the, cool. the Pokemon one, sweet. The Pokemon like, one. I guess really that, okay. Cool. So in that case, I mean, I could see them making better like collectors editions of the Switch Lite. Well, sure. okay. So let's speak to that then for for a moment. Do you think they will make a like? So now you have the Switch Lite. Like, is that how they're gonna sell it? Like, hey, if you want this cool Pokemon Collector's Edition Switch, you gotta get a Switch Lite to have it. Like, you know what I mean? Or are they gonna not yeah. make like a Switch version? Because then you don't have to worry about making like special Joy Cons and stuff for it. It's just one unit, so they exactly. can actually make a unit as a special Collector's Edition because it's just one unit without like detachables. Yeah, I think it's the case. Which is upsetting because I would really like a Pokemon Switch, right. or I'd really like you know some a, a Zelda Breath of the Wild two Switch. Yeah, and stuff, right. right? I think the, the last collector's edition they did was Smash Brothers, right? Like the dock mm-hmm. was all etched with uh, Smash Brothers characters, and then they had the special the controllers. Yeah, yeah. And the special controllers and stuff. Yeah, yeah, but that that was it. I think it was the only one that they did, to be honest. So they did the know, uh, Pokemon Let's Go. Oh, that's true. Oh, they they, they right. did Splatoon as well mm-hmm. with a special color. Uh, Joy-Con, but nothing crazy from the dock. And they even sold those, con- the Splatoon ones, they sold those separately. Oh, yeah, true. And the, what was it, was it Xeno, Xenoblade? Had a special Pro Controller? And Mario Odyssey had a special Switch with the dark red <laughs> Joy-Con. Yeah. It's just good to know if my Switch dies on me, I can go and buy a new one that has two hours more battery life. It's good to know. That's true. true. Yeah. I mean, at this point, hopefully we would have... You know, some sort of uh, Switch Pro um, in the next year or so, but... Please. Please, Nintendo. Yeah, an extra two hours for... Um, or, Same I price. mean, not two and a half hours. Right. And um, if we're looking at the range there, an extra two and a half hours versus the Switch we originally plane? bought. Oh, it'd be amazing. Yeah. Granted, uh, it doesn't really impact me because I don't play on the go very often. You're missing out, man. No. Uh, now, once Animal Crossing comes out, that'll be a different story. Be I'll be good. taking that shit with me everywhere. Trevor's going to be having like external battery packs everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Just, and... just everywhere. <laughs> right. You just I carry in a book bag. There's just like eight of them attached to me. Just cables everywhere. Just, oh, this one's dead. Kink. <laughs> yeah. Mm. You'd be like that guy from that meme or that little video he's playing he's in Japan playing Pokemon Go he has that bike there's just oh, like 50 yeah. different oh yeah dude. The bike. <laughs> yeah dude that video is so sweet though mm. like just like a fan it's like a whole That's shield what it is. just Pokemon Go it's insane there are some people we did community day for Pokemon Go yesterday there were people that had like three phones and they're they were just like carrying them all doing it I dude, just I just Pokemon Go died for me I'm happy I'm not into it anymore same like I've been having a lot of fun with it, right. getting back into it. I think it helps that um, KB does it. I, I got her oh. into it, and then I stopped, and then she kind of got me back into it. Um, and we've been doing, like, the community community days and stuff, so it's, it's pretty oh, fun. That's cool. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. Like, how does this work? Like, what do you do? You just all, a whole bunch of people just hang out and walk around so together? So, community day, um, it'll be, uh, like, a specific Pokemon. Like, yesterday it was Mudkip. And it's just like a shit ton of Mudkip pop-up. Um, you get like three times the experience for catching, so you can level up faster. I caught like shiny, eight shiny Mudkip yesterday. Um, Interesting. Boy, you, shinies sure seem rare nowadays. Well, yeah, I caught like a shit ton of them. Just taking away the point of shiny Pokemon. Oh my gosh, Tim's 
Tim, you're already a grumpy old man. Back in my day, back in my we day, had to search in the grass to have shot, even the smallest of chances to find that shot of Pokemon. The first <laughs> Pokemon didn't away, even shine. <laughs> didn't even have shiny Pokemon. You just got the color that you got. <laughs> Black. That was it. <laughs> Black with a shade of green. <laughs> Black and green Pokemon's all you got. <laughs> and they didn't even look like the picture. <laughs> they were all fat and ball like. <laughs> Pikachu was hella fat back in my day. He was. Pikachu was Blastoise fat. Rolls City. <laughs> he didn't know where his body began and his head ended. It was and Charizard? Just, Charizard was just all head. It was literally all It was all and rounded. Had enough, and... Dude, Charizard had enough neck for everyone yeah, back was... in the day. He was weird. Mewtwo lot. looked weird as fuck. Yeah. He had a big, he had a Everybody, big dome on him too. He did. <laughs> Everybody looked weird in the first gen, man. Dude, it's the know. best. So that's the shiny I know and love. Yeah. The new, right. this new shiny. You'd bullshit. know until it was like, like the stars, whatever. Yeah. So like, that's yeah. the only reason why I know. Okay. Who, who played it? I would just do this. I would just be like, a a a a a. Well, okay, mom. Yeah. Always. I'm playing the Pokemon. Oh, <laughs> that's all a, it was. That's yeah. it. That was Pokemon. This is Pokemon. You're playing Pokemon right now. You got it. That's it. That's yep. Pokemon. Uh, uh, just set your most Luke. powerful move yeah. to uh, the, like the first one in the slot. Yep. You just go through. Yep. Heck, in your first time, you don't give a damn. You're just like, I don't know if this is effective or not. I'm just going to... Just using it. Yep. I was a kid. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't give a damn. You know, to this day, I've never caught a legit shiny Pokemon. My first one was when I was playing through uh, Leaf Green and it was a shiny Pidgey and I was really pissed. <laughs> oh, Pidgey's awesome. I have, ugh, dude, I'm, I'm so mad I've never caught a shiny Pokemon, which is kind of why I was upset with like, let's go po Pikachu and Eevee, like how they did their shiny thing. Cause it's just like, the, I don't want my first legit shiny Pokemon to be like handed to me because I'm catching the same Pokemon a bajillion times. Like. I want to have that one yeah. in eight thousand chance, and when yeah. it finally happens, be joyful. Well, not yeah. My first shiny was Red Gyarados. So. <laughs> okay, okay, valid. I guess valid. I had a, a Red Gyarados. I, guess. <laughs> I think Trey was with me when I got my second uh, uh, shiny. Or was I? I was in the hospital, and you came to visit me, and I was playing Heart Gold, and I did Rock Smash on this rock, and it was a shiny Geodude. Oh, yeah, I think I do remember that. Did you freak out in the hospital? No, I was probably too out of it. To... Oh. You probably ran away. No, it's still in my box. <laughs> I still have it. You ran away. It's okay. I'll right? put it in the Pokemon bank, so then I can transfer it to the Galar region. Uh, it's not going to be able to be in the Galar region? No. Actually, uh, I, I was kids... told confirmed 151 was going to be in there. Is that true? Geodude, Geodude was in it. Um, I don't... I mean, I haven't heard confirmation that all 151 are going to be in there. But, I don't know. I'm okay no matter what. There's my statement. Me too. On that whole I'm excited. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. hella excited. I'm very excited Actually, for. <laughs> I'd prefer it. Like, that they're doing it this way. It gives yeah. me a reason. If for some reason the 150. Because, I mean, realistically, my main team is basically all in the 151. Oh, I'm God. trying to think of someone who's not. <laughs> they're pretty much all in the oh, 151. God, Tim. <laughs> Tim, oh, where'd what? Tim go? What what happened? Am I here? Uh -oh. No 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 no. Well, <laughs> no 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 this, no. <laughs> this is upsetting. Can you guys hear me? Cause this power go out. I don't know. I can hear you guys just fine. I want to message real quick. I. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, Tim's there. Oh, there we go. There we go. Here he's back. He's back. I could hear you guys and see you just fine. You're like, oh, did we lose Tim? <laughs> Is he dead? You were I'm frozen like, for like a full minute. You just froze like... You were like... <laughs> <laughs> I was so upset about it. No, like, if I have to make a brand new team comp, I'm okay with it. It gives me room to experiment. I like experimenting, so I'm okay with this whole thing. Yeah, me too, man. Yeah, me too. Um, I mean, it gives it room for DLC, you know? It does. Even if it doesn't. I mean, obviously, I would, I would prefer Trevor. the DLC, but even if it doesn't, it's not going to stop me from, I'm boycotting the, the Pokemon Dude. company. I'm never buying a game from them again. 
They aren't letting me Good. have all 1,000 Pokemon. Good. Right. I hope like, they shut don't up, play. you crybabies. I hope there are people like that at like the GameStop I go to to get it, or wherever I go to get it, and just like picketing and like rioting. Because I'm just gonna walk out and like play it right there in front of them and just be like, "Yeah, this I, just, is great. I just I laugh in the face of those people because it's, it's it's so childish, dude. It the, is the most childish. I don't know how often you guys are on Reddit, but I um I follow the um or subscribe. I don't know what it is uh, to the Pokemon subreddit, and it's just it's nonstop of people mm-hmm. like. They'll, they'll find screenshots from the trailers, and they'll be like, really? This, uh, these shitty graphics are the reason that we can't have the full the, the full national decks? And it's, Go make a game. Yeah, like, you don't, you don't understand. I don't know. There, I think there's a lot of people that are complaining that don't know what goes into a game. Um, not saying that I do either, but I I don't, get- we're also not the people telling them that it's an easy fix. I get the the whole animations thing because I mean I, I think I was talking to you about it, uh, Trevor. Yeah. But like N sixty four, those animations were amazing for Pokemon. Yeah. Like they were. that stuff was so cool. You're talking about Stadium, and, right? Yeah, yeah. Pokemon Stadium versus t- like what they showed in the recent mm-hmm. trailer. I'm like, I can understand being angry with that, but being angry with the fact that you can't have every Pokemon in the game is just dumb. It's just that it's that it's that feeling of entitlement that people yes. just have that mm-hmm. they feel entitled that they should they deserve to get what they think they deserve to get. It, it's not how it works. I'm sorry, people. If you think no. that's how it works, go mod something, go build your own Pokemon game, right. give yourself what the fuck you want. Don't go spend the money if you don't want this game. It's not going to affect yeah. me anyway. It's not going to give Nintendo a damn. They're not going to cry about it. You know why? Because plenty of people are still going to buy it and play it. Why? Because most people are sane human beings like myself who want to play a really, really fun Pokemon game no matter what it is. I don't care. Give me this game. And it's it's okay to have that opinion, right? But don't just don't be toxic about it. No, like there are people right. that are attacking, um, uh, like rude. the developers online. Like, yeah, it, whoa, that doesn't make any sense. Let, let's calm down. Let's calm Shut down up, a bit. Bro. This is it's uh, only just laugh. I can only imagine. Like if I'm a game developer and stuff, like I would just laugh at these people. Like, oh man, it's like I when don't... someone comes in and yells at me for something stupid at work. Like I'm just like, bye. <laughs> like it doesn't matter to me. Go away. Actually, right. you made my day because now I'm laughing about you. Well, I mean, I, I think Nintendo definitely takes what they're they're hearing to heart. I mean, they're they're definitely hear the the outcry. Um, I just wish people were were more civil about it. I guess that 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 would be my only well, ask. But so you... that's the problem, right? Like you're not civil about it. If someone comes in and yells at me about something in a civil manner or doesn't yell but talks to me about something in a civil manner, I'm gonna hear you out. Yeah. If you're coming and bitching to my face, yelling at me and screaming at me, threatening me, telling me stupid things. I don't give a shit about you. I don't want to help you at all. Actually, mm-hmm. I'd rather watch you leave and I'll laugh about the situation. Yeah. So they're not helping themselves by doing what they're doing. They might think they are, but they're not. Yeah. Right. Hmm. <sighs> well, I, I feel like we could have like a whole... I'm interested to see where, where this whole bring back the National Dex thing goes. Um, yeah. This was not a Pokemon podcast, by the way. Yeah. I don't know what it's happened. Not, it's, not, it's not a fam cast episode if we don't talk about Pokemon at least once. <laughs> because I feel like the past <laughs> ten episodes, it's come up at least once. <laughs> it's so true. So let's we let's just... get into the, the last topic of our po- uh, our podcast, uh, which is Pokemon. Marvel. Oh, Marvel. Marvel, baby. As, uh, as Trey says it. Um, Marvel. Marvel. Marvel, baby. Um... So San Diego Comic-Con always brings a bunch of really good uh, nerdy news. But Hall H is where where dreams come true. It's where hopes are reborn. I don't know where. Why don't we go there? What the hell are we still doing here? Uh, Well, it's over, Tim. Oh. So better luck next year. Actually, since I got tickets, I think I have a better chance of getting tickets. Wait, you got tickets? Yeah. I don't want to talk about it. Uh, Okay. Um, I would be flying in and out the same day, and I didn't want to. Uh, I don't think that I, don't think I could do that. As, that would just be rough. Nope, that's nope, yeah. that's just rough. I get it. Um, so Hall H Saturday night, um, brought a lot of Phase Four news. Um, so we we got. I I think we should also mention that um, Endgame finally surpassed Avatar. 
I was so happy about. I checked that. I kid you not. Like once a Disney week. Disney surpassed Disney. Yeah. Doing Disney things. Yeah. <laughs> like I legit looked at that at least once a week to see when it was happening. I kept up with it, and I was so happy to see it. Yeah. So that that's really cool. Um, and they didn't have to we, be in theaters for 274 days. Mm, true. And they they both got re-released. So Avatar got re-released, and Endgame got re-released. So it's fair. Um, uh, not so, at all. Avatar got re-released like several times, but that's not the point. Go on. So let's look at the the announcements. So we got a lot of, and this isn't even everything from what uh, Kevin Feige said. So just kind of going through the list here. Uh, first off, we got uh, Eternals, which yeah. We, so explain that to me. I know nothing about this. That's okay, true. So the Eternals, the Eternals are basically like, essentially the first mutants. We'll we'll put it that way. And uh, so, like, you would have, you know, so you have like the, the first mutants, and then you'd have just humans. Humans went on to be like the Neanderthals, and you know that branch of like mm-hmm. like regular ass people. people. Mm-hmm. The Eternals went on to be like the gods of those people, okay. And like the first mutants, and so on and so forth. Like these are like the the gods before them. Are what like they set okay. them aside and be like, okay, okay, like we want you to have this. You're gonna have this. You're gonna have this. Okay. And whoever else, you're going over there. You be like, a human. I saw that. I was like, oh wait, is that like what they're being instead of the Avengers? Is that? But no, that's just like a. It's a side movie still. Like it's like a. It's like a, yeah, yeah. So I think okay. this is gonna usher in the Age of Mutants. Like they're actually gonna like drop the word in this movie, or like you know give hints to. Mutants actually being in the MCU, they they've been there the entire time. They just didn't want to help. Didn't want to help, or they didn't know about, <laughs> it. or but whatever. I'll, I'll get into that stuff later. But so okay, so because like it's gonna be so weird to like not have the X Men. Like you know what I mean? Like it's not gonna be weird. It's gonna be weird, right? It's gonna be weird. Well, we're we're gonna get them eventually. Yeah, but... they already said that they're going to. Did they? Because like I thought they were not legally allowed to call them that because of rights between them and what Sony, right? It's still Sony, right? It's Fox. 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 That's Fox. right, Fox. So like I thought we weren't gonna technically get the X Men. They'll get called the mutants, kinda like how we got like Scarlet Witch and, and Quicksilver, but you know, they weren't allowed to say like Magneto and you know, stuff like that. Right. They're that was like a shared um that's what I'm looking for. Like a contract? A shared property. Mm. Property. Was a Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch. Like that was a shared property. Kind of like how Sony and Spider-Man are right now. Okay, gotcha. Or Marvel, uh, Spider-Man and between Marvel and... Uh, so you think we'll get X-Men? Like, oh, yeah. You think we'll get X-Men? Oh, yeah, for sure. Kevin, cool. uh, Kevin Feige said uh, at the end, kind of when they were done announcing everything, he's like, we went over a lot today, but we didn't even get to talk about how we're going to be bringing Fantastic Four your way. Saw or that. the or the fact that um, we'll um, uh, we'll be fitting mutants in here, um, so I, I'm sure I'm sure down the road we'll get it might and it it'll probably be phase five at this point, but right, yeah. Um, so, so we don't know what, like the phase four like in movie is right like you know how there's always the Avengers we don't know what the, there will be one you assume right like so I assume there'd be something. Someone asked them uh, about the the lack of an Avengers title in what they've announced of Phase mm-hmm. Four so far because I, I would assume that this isn't everything for Phase Four. Correct. Th- this is just you know current current outline for the next two years. Was um, it two years? Is that what they did? Is that what they showed off? Was two they years? they well they talked about uh, at least a few projects from okay. from now until twenty twenty one. Shit, Thor I, four was is the last one on the list. Yeah, um, and he he made it clear that um, Phase Four is about beginnings. So he's like, you know, at Endgame we saw like a pretty definitive end to the Avengers as we knew them. So in Phase Four we're gonna see like a kind of a new beginning for um, the the MCU. So we're um, I mean we have new Captain America. We're gonna have a new Thor. We're gonna have um, who else am I missing? A new someone else. Um, Shang Chi. We're just gonna have a bunch of new new uh, like, slots filled. Phase one, two, and three was like a whole. It was the Infinity Saga. It's that whole saga yeah, in correct. itself. Like boom, bam, done. That's phase one, two, and three, and that ended with uh, Far From Home. So that's 
Yeah. That's that. Boom, yep. set, done, right? Correct. So now you have this phase five or four, but it's it's like a, it's a new beginning. It's a new block mm -hmm. of what will be a new like kind of saga. So as to where we have yeah. the Infinity Saga here, we now have this phase four starting a whole new saga of three phases here. The Galactus Saga. Dude, please. That's what That'd I was asking for. I mean, so the background, the background of the timeline is purple. I want galactus so bad i'm pretty sure that's who i talked said when we did our thing like yeah. want, that's i need i want I, want, and I don't want fucking poofy cloud with galactus <laughs> you know i want i would want dr doom that would be oh I yeah want. uh dr doom and uh and like galactus can like him galactus and uh uh dr doom silver surfer the, the, well that but who the hell is mamamu modok or dormammu dormammu, dormammu. Dormammu, more mamu, more more mamu, more mamu. Because like, there's like, there's some, Dorm there are some badass sequences between Galactus and Dormammu that I would love oh, yeah. to see interact in the actual MCU. Yeah. Um, because that would be, because at that point you're getting into like the Eternals. So I would want to see that. I'm excited for a, a more cosmic MCU, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. I think, spoilers if you haven't seen uh, Far From Home. The uh, the end credit scene where we leave with Fury on the uh, the ship uh, with the scrolls right. in outer space. I think we're definitely headed towards a, a much more cosmic um, yeah. MCU. I was so disappointed by that, but at the same time excited. I like literally both. Like I was I was like, oh, that's badass, and like, but that kind of kills Secret Wars, doesn't it? Like, like not necessarily. Like, but like the scrolls are clearly good guys. Like, or are they? <laughs> bump, bump, bump. Like, cause <laughs> when they changed, when they were scrolls in the car, I was like, "Oh yeah. shit! What happened to Fury? Oh fuck! They got him! Oh shit!" Ah! Um, and then like it's like, "Oh wait, hmm. okay." Or yeah, they, maybe I mean, they'll have their own fucking twist on it. They always do. It's it's potential because I mean, not every scroll is going to be a good guy, you know. That's like true. there are That's true. those two branches of the scroll. There's the good guys and the not bad every scroll. human's a good guy, you know. I mean, exactly. That's true. Just look at Tim. Right. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> so you uh, you mentioned uh, you mentioned um, the X Men, um, and I, I just wanted to touch on this real quick because we were talking about Far From Home, and it, it made me think of it. So with J K Simmons repri reprising his role as um, J J. <laughs> um, so good. Which it's that so good. I've lost my mind. That was, was so that was good. amazing. That was pretty good. That was so good. <laughs> was that gives so me hope that maybe some of the uh, some of the iconic um, people that play some of the like the the more major X Men characters, maybe just uh, maybe they'll bring them over. Um, yeah. I think some of them are so iconic it would be hard to recast, um, but some of them they definitely could bring in some new players. Like who? Um, well, we're not going to get Hugh Jackman. Yeah, yeah. I, that's no, I don't happen. want Hugh Jackman. As I, he's the done. the one that comes to mind for me, and this is only because we were talking about villains, is Magneto. Ian I McCallum. would all oh, please. I would yes. Of all, I I agree wholeheartedly with you. Of all the people to come back, please bring him back. Yeah. Or I guess um, uh, what Fassbender? I mean, um, yeah, Michael Fassbender is pretty good. Um, yeah. Depending yeah, on, yeah. I guess it depends on where they're at. Uh, you know, if they start like time frame. Yeah, well, where they start time frame wise. Could you really do that though with Magneto? I mean, he kind of has a big past. Like, like well, so like, looking just, looking at the Phase Four timeline, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness is dead center. But he doesn't have a time stone. Well, it's multiverse of madness, though. Let's let's uh, let's continue we'll, to we'll go down there. the list. We'll get them. Mm, okay. And then um, so let um, I'll will give a date for all of these. Okay. So we just we only talked about one so far, um, <laughs> and that was uh, Eternals, and that comes out November sixth of twenty twenty. So a little little under a year and a half away. Um. Next up, we have, and keep in mind, we also have some that have already been announced, like Guardians Three, that are not on this list. So there's right, some right. Phase Four movies that we just won't. Because he talked about, he said they thought that Guardians Three is coming. I remember saying that. Yeah. Um. So the the next one on the list uh, comes out fall of 2020 and is streaming exclusively on Disney Plus. 
So we know that some uh, MCU content is not only going to be movies now, it's going to actually be on their streaming Which service. I'm going to subscribe to Disney Plus. Like, yeah, well, it's seven bucks. And I get I, seven bucks and I get Star Wars and Marvel shit. Done. In, I don't, in the Disney movies. Right, that's, that's a no brainer. Yeah, no brainer. Um, so th- we, this series is the Falcon, the Falcon, the Falcon, and the Winter Soldier. Okay. Are we just gonna skip over Black Widow? I'm only. Yeah, I'm can just, we actually talk about that I'm for a second? Going through though. the list. What? Can we talk about? Yeah, that? Black Widow's first. So, how is that? I I almost like I look. I like Scarlett Johansson. I like Black Widow. Mm-hmm. But I feel like spoilers again. If you haven't seen Endgame, um, which why are whole, whole another discussion on that? Um, like, is it? relevant is it needed anymore like it happens after civil war i think so but like as far as where it takes place i guess i didn't know that so that actually makes it even more irrelevant in my opinion but like (laughs) like it does like okay what's like i'm i'm my thought is like but there's no like we're not gonna be like, oh yeah, like we know her fate, no matter what happens. You know what I mean? Like, I know yeah. movies do that and blah 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 blah. But I'm just, I don't know what relevance that movie's gonna do us at all. I guess we'll wait. I mean, they're gonna have to have some yeah. kind of spin. That's the only thing. They have to have some kind of twist, something, because otherwise, if it's just a story about whatever she did, I'm not gonna be that. Um, David Harbour's in it, so uh, I'm excited yeah, for that. He's the Red Guardian. Who's yeah. that? Yeah, uh, the uh, Hopper from Stranger Things. Oh shit! Okay, Hellboy. Yeah, he's um, he's playing. From what I read, Trey, correct me if I'm wrong. He is Russia's answer to Captain America. Correct. <laughs> That's gonna be badass. Yep. <laughs> okay. The Red Guardian. Okay, nice. I like it. I can respect. Yeah, so it. just about every country had like their own. So that's like, how they're gonna serum. introduce him, and he's gonna play a bigger part somehow. Mm. Maybe. We'll mm. see. You think? I'm just. I'm trying to. I'm dude. I gotta find relevance with this movie. Otherwise, think... I'm not gonna. <laughs> I think I'm more excited for the villain in the movie than oh, I Taskmaster. Am. Yes. Okay, maybe that's... I don't know. They need. There has to be a purpose for this movie. And I'm I think, assuming it's going to be to introduce other characters. Yeah, I think that's, this is going to be like the bridging the gap, at least for like villains. Like They're going to bring in a lot of more Earth-based villains. Because mm. we've had a lot of galactic, or cosmic rather, like cosmic enemies, and not a whole lot of like earthly villains right. i guess like we had like like phase one had most of like the the earthly villains right phase two was like a mix of the two right. and then phase three was like all cosmic right. Right. And we had we had loki ultron and thanos right mm-hmm. those are loki, the three ultron, thanos. <sighs> ultron is like if we're talking about just avengers villains yeah Baron, but yeah was baron but, but Zemo... I mean, even loki was still very cosmic though yeah right loki was definitely cosmic but okay, go on. But yeah, Taskmaster, I'm excited for Taskmaster. And I can see him bridging into Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Yeah, that'd be sweet. And that's the, so that's the first um, show on the, the, uh, the list here. So Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Fall 2020. Uh, Baron Zemo um, yes. is going to be the villain. So he'll be reprising his role. And he'll ha- actually have his mask, which will be cool. Um, next up, we have a movie, which I'm very excited for, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. That's interesting, because that's, uh, he's, he's getting his own movie, huh? Shang-Chi? Yeah. 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 Um, so we, we know that the villain will be the, the true Mandarin, which as we saw in Iron Man 3, the Mandarin in that was not the real Mandarin. Um, Trey, could you go in into more depth on what the the Ten Rings are? Honestly, not. I I don't know. They're mainly okay. just like each ring has their own. From my understanding, they have their own like uh, power, basically. Okay. So think of like the Infinity Stones, but more earthly, but mystical. Gotcha. So we're we're talking like Iron Fist kind of mystical. Yeah, exactly. Okay. You're gotcha. gonna think of more of like the mystical side of like Doctor Strange. So I think Doctor okay. Strange, but more kung fu. I like it. Based. Yeah, it would be cool. I'm excited yeah. for it. Where do you think um, you could see this fitting? Um, like as far as bringing him into like an, an MCU. Um, 
do you think it'll be more standalone? And if so, how how do we tie Shang Chi back into the rest of the heroes that we see? Um, it, it could tie back to honestly. I mean, that would be a way to tie in like Kun Lun from the Iron Fist. I mean, I know a whole lot of people don't like the Iron Fist, but um, essentially, like Shang Chi's dad was like an evil ruler of Kun Lun for a little bit, um, hmm. and then like. The Mandarin came along, he was like his own villain, so that's when he was fighting them, and then um, I think it'll tie in everyone else, because basically in the the comic books, everyone goes to Shang-Chi to learn how to fight. Interesting. So, like, we could see something like, you know, Peter Parker would be watching, like, let's say, like, the actor that plays Shang-Chi was like oh, the Bruce Lee type of character where he like okay. made his own movies, but like on the side he was actually like a mystical kung fu master. Like, huh. so we could see like Spider Man, like oh, like I you know I watch a bunch of karate when I was, or watch a bunch of like karate kid or karate movies when I was a kid, yeah. or like uh, Captain America could be like oh you know in my when I was un or when I was growing up I was watching kung fu movies like the I don't know we'll see yeah. I think he, he's just mainly going to be, like, the, the bridge for, like, the Kung Fu side and the mystical martial arts for everybody. And I, I think this is kind of the, the first one so far um, that um, in the list of Phase 4 that really shows how diverse Phase 4 is going to be. Oh, yeah. Um, which I'm really excited to bring, that, that they're bringing more diversity into, uh, into the MCU um, to see um, uh, an Asian lead. Um, that'll be very cool, especially after, um, you know, the whole Iron Fist thing. Um, I don't want to hear it. (laughs) Next up, um, another, uh, Disney Plus series. Well, let me back up. Shang-Chi, February 12th of 2021. Okay. I I don't think I said that already. Um, so then moving into spring 2021 on Disney Plus. So, okay, there's nothing, can I ask you a question? There's nothing in early 2020? Uh, Black, Black Widow. Widow. So it's just Black Widow, and then we jump straight to fall. Yep. yep. So between January and th- and fall is just Black Widow. Yep. As we know right now. Okay. Okay. So go on. Twenty twenty one. That's. Yeah. So <laughs> spring twenty twenty one, we have Wandavision. Uh, when does so that take place? Do we know? Yes. Um, shoot, I just had it one second. A uh, Wandavision takes place after Endgame. Okay. 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 Okay, that can't be right. That that's, that would that, that look. That's the right. only way it can make sense. Vision's going to come back. Why do you say that? Because that's when it takes place. <laughs> 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 that makes sense. Um, touche, Tim. Touche. Because this whole time, that was one of those shows I was watching, like uh, paying, paying attention to, and I'm just like, how are they going to make this happen without Vision being back? So I can so, see. It. I could see it going between like the the time that he was created to the time when they were together, like before he got his. But I don't want to watch that. Batteries it's taken boring. out. It's, no one wants to see that. It's boring as fuck. Damn, Nothing it's happened. a love story between a witch and a robot. Yeah. So Results. confirmation from Feige that it takes place after the events of Infinity Saga. Yes, Vision's coming back. Okay. I like the actor who plays him too, so I'm excited. Yeah, he's good. That's yeah. he's Jarvis. So he's right? just not gonna have an infinity yeah, stone. He's just gonna be an AI. He's gonna be an AI. He's gonna be a robot that robot that gets to have fun. Just build him a new body. Oh, and let yeah, me tell he'll you, get a new body. she will. She will. I bet sure he does it. <laughs> That'd be cool. You see the way she's gonna take apart fucking Thanos' body? Trust me, she can do what she wants. Mm-hmm. She could, man. It's- Scarlet Witch, man. She's yeah. insane. Dude, she was going to fuck him up. I'll never forget that. I was like, damn. <laughs> he about to get fucked. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Oh, yeah. Oh, guys, that comes out in like eight days on digital. Counting them down. Yeah. It's going to be sweet, man. Yeah. Trevor, I'm, I'm leaving, leaving, it, I'm yeah, leaving it to you for like when they announce like a huge collector's edition. That's. I was it. just about to say, like, I feel like I, I haven't bought the, the past couple Marvel movies just because I'm waiting for a... Like a an, an Infinity Saga collection. Well, I'm definitely buying this on digital because I want to watch it like today, yesterday, yeah. whatever. But I will buy. And when you say, "Oh my God, Tim, look at this," I'll just buy it. 
Like, I'm just yeah. okay. <laughs> Sold. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Done. Okay. It'll be a holiday release. You already it's, know. I know. But, God, oh, yeah. it's going to... Didn't they say they're announcing it? They, they, it got announced, right? That they are doing a 23 movie release, I thought. Is that not... Did that, Probably. Was that just a rumor I, I haven't seen anything on it, but, I mean... Th- it's Disney. They're going to. Okay, good. They're, they're going That's to funny. milk this for all it's worth. I will that is gladly mine. let them have all of it. I'm right there with you. <laughs> I, they, yeah, 100%. Because I, originally I was buying them all on Blu-ray, but then 4K Blu-ray started, and then mm-hmm. I stopped buying them because I wanted to wait for a Phase 3 collection, mm-hmm. which we never got um, for, I mean, for obvious reasons, because mm-hmm. it, it just ended. So... I'll, because we got some really cool ones. We got the briefcase for Phase One. We got the um, the purple Power orb stuff. thingy for mm-hmm. uh, Phase Two. But then we didn't get anything for Phase Three, which is kind of mm-hmm. sad. That's okay. So but WandaVision's happening. Annalise, yes, WandaVision happens after Endgame. Moving on into Loki, uh, which also comes out spring twenty twenty one. So this is confirmed to be the Loki in huh. Doctor Strange of the Multiverse, man. It's, it's coming up. It's coming up. It's in, okay. So spring 2021. Um, Loki and what? Loki. It's the uh, the Loki that steals the orb in Endgame the, the, right. when they're like time traveling. Huey and that's thing. Yeah, so it, him just going on, going through different hijinks and being And it's a show, right? And, it's supposed to be a yeah, show. A show. Not that's a show. All right, I can get behind that now. Just because if they wouldn't have you. shown him take that tesseract, I wouldn't have been. Up yeah. okay. I would not have been okay with this. But yeah. Now that it, I'm, I'm, I kind of hope it does have that Doctor Who vibe to it, to where like he just kind of goes through the goes through the timelines and causes right. Yeah, because just a more chaotic it, Doctor it, Who. It's it more. It, this is pro, this the Loki that took that is still evil Loki. He's not okay. I'm a good guy Loki now. That happened yeah. after. The redemption. He didn't lose his mom yet, which was big for him. You know, he didn't like. There's a lot of that, right? Which he didn't give a damn. Um, he there's a lot like that happened, like because they, Cause they him and him, he didn't die. Him and Thor had some really good heart to hearts. They didn't do the second get help, like yeah, they things. didn't do get help. Like come on. Um. Hmm. So yeah, I can't series. stand Loki. So I don't care. Wow. <laughs> I I love Loki. I like Loki. I cannot stand um, him. So next up, uh, the one I'm most excited for, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Yep. Um, so this comes out May 7th of 2021. Okay. And it's the first horror MCU movie. What? Yeah. No. Um, horror. Yeah, I mean, horror in, in Dis- Disney sense. Disney horror. So it'll, Yeah, so it'll be... It's it's basically like a um, a treehouse of horror from The Simpsons. That's hey, that's look, how spooky we're, we're going look, here. So, look, look, <laughs> it doesn't have to be gory to be scary. First of all, suspense can do a lot of things. I'm guessing it. Yeah. Um, I don't know. With all like the probably lots of milky tentacles, you know, like our D and D campaign. Yeah, yeah. Um, so the the cool thing with uh, with this is that Scarlet Witch is going to be in it. Cool. Um, I don't know how that ties into the story because we don't really have any details but it'll be cool i can okay. i can think of something hmm. try says he could think of something okay so with this being the multiverse of madness actually confirming that this is, this is con- just confirming that there is a multiverse now right I would have yeah because we got title. we got fucking faked out in uh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was a good fucking fake out, out too bro yeah, that was good that got, good on oh, them for keeping so that mad. like Quiet and everything, like good. On yeah, him. yeah. Pissed me off so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, they even did the uh, the number. They had the number right. Yeah, they did the comic book number, which yeah. is the six one six. Oh, and it made me mm. so mad. I was like, <gasps> what? <laughs> and then they faked me out. Uh, they faked me out big time. Spoilers, whatever. But. Um, so this could bring in, so me thinking outside of the box here or inside, I don't know, thinking of what could come. Yeah. If this is dealing with the multiverse and dealing with several villains, this could usher in Annihilus, which is a um, Fantastic Four, Guardians of the Galaxy, and Nova villain. Hmm. 
since he is like the ruler of the negative zone and like he has his own like annihilation wave of what's called so basically just he just takes over planets with all of his bug people and wipes out everything and goes on like planet to planet doing that so if that deals with you know annihilus being a part of it sold great grand give me nova give me or uh, give me the fantastic four from that um also i'm thinking since wanda is in it this could bring in the x-men because they could go to the multiverse where X-Men existed and grab Fastbender, you know? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Quicksilver is going to come back. Exactly. Quicksilver could come back. You could grab an alternate Quicksilver and be like, bam, yeah. Quicksilver's here now. So it's just, it's just it, with the multiverse being in the title, it could bring so much. I feel like yeah. Lon- Wanda would lose it if she saw her brother again. Yeah. That'd be a really sad reunite. Re- Let's do House of M. That would be sick. I'd be down. Totally. Yeah. Absolutely. We, 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 could, we could even get fucking... Um, what is it? There's so much... Th- there's so much stuff that could happen. Just with the multiverse, there's there's an infinite Literally amount of infinite. possibility. Right. Thanos could come back as a good guy. Uh, stop. Could. Moving on. Could. Could we have a another Disney Plus series. Didn't blow up. Huh? So there could be a universe out there where he, he's a good guy. Yeah. Don't do that. We have this. Don't give Tim hope. Let me have this. I mean, in current comic books, they they go to him all the time for for assistance, all the time. Know. If there's ever like a galactic issue, they're always like, "Well, we know who's big, bad, and almighty in in the cosmics, so let's." Go he only him wants what was quick. good, Trevor. Whatever, Tim. You never know, man. Never you never know. know. And they so, they already confirmed that it's like multiple villains. For what? For Doctor Strange in the Marvel. Oh, cool. <laughs> nice. What else we got, um, Fred? Another series. So next up, yeah, another series on Disney Plus, Fall of 2021. Uh, this one's Hawkeye. Okay, I'm um, down for that, actually. I'd watch the shit out of that. So it's uh, introducing Kate Bishop, which is his daughter, correct? Yep, yep. So that'll be interesting. Mm-hmm. Hawkeye and his daughter on the TV screen for six ninety nine per month. Um Moving on because I'm much more excited for this one. Um, this is probably the one that I like. I'm tied for excitement with with uh, Doctor Strange, Thor: Love and Thunder. So this one comes out uh, November fifth of twenty twenty one. Natalie Portman is coming back as the Mighty Thor, which I'm uh, very excited to see. Um, Tessa Thompson is going to be in it. She's going to be finding her queen. Um, so we've got some, uh, some LGBT uh, representation there, which is sweet. Um, and the logo. The logo is just beautiful. We've got this beautiful 80s-looking logo right there. Look at that. Thor's going to have to like mm. lose a lot of weight. Jane might not care anymore. Well, shit. He might be in fucking space. That's true. Yeah, I guess that's a good question. So are we getting Guardians before this? Do we see Thor mm, going I to don't space think so. in Volume 3 and then come back? Yeah, it's already. Didn't he already say that it's going to be called a Guardian or as Guardians of the Galaxy? No, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. no. Oh. And they also didn't give Thor on there. Or Guardians of the Galaxy is not even on that timeline anywhere. So I don't think. I yeah, think it's, it's not even there. slated for a date because um, he said he has to finish Suicide Squad first. Uh, wait, who has to finish Suicide Squad? James Gunn. And I'm sorry. Kate Bishop is the protege. Not his protege, daughter. not his daughter. Not his daughter. I apologize. But anyways. Thank you for the correction, Trey. So Kate Bishop, not Hawkeye's daughter, just protege. C- correct, just the protege. And if you notice, um, to all you comic book fans out there, the Hawkeye logo is actually the uh, Matt Fraction version of the Hawkeye logo. And Fraction, actually, yeah. uh, what's his name? Jeremy Renner just tweeted out um, the actual trailer, the teaser trailer for it. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> did not know that yeah it looks pretty good cool yeah it's kind of neat it's pretty it's pretty um, neat reminds me of uh, like a James Bond intro kind of thing yeah I have a feeling that's what it may be like but it hurts it's, it's like his time in as Ronin I don't know whatever let's continue um so then we got um well now I've got Black Widow on here because they announced that like kind of towards the end mm-hmm. um 
so May 1st, 2020, we already talked about it. So then the, the final surprise was Blade. Blade, yeah. Which I don't think anyone really saw coming. Um, Mahershala Ali will be... Uh, which, he was the bad bring... guy in Luke Cage, right? Correct. So he was Cottonmouth. So it's kind of interesting. But Cottonmouth's dead, so it's he okay. He is, they but like, it's still kind of, like, I thought about it. It's still kind of weird that he just got... He's... It is weird. Um, it is weird. It's almost okay like they're it. pretending that the Netflix verse never happened. Right. Like, I want to be... <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I didn't pay attention. Did we talk about the what if and Thor: Love and Thunder? Oh no, I um, no, I I skipped over that. Okay, sorry. The what if? Um, well, yeah, we'll finish Blade up first. Um, and then I'm we'll, excited. Don't for let Blade. me forget what if. Like Blade. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm definitely excited Did for Blade. Did you watch the original? Like you guys both watch the trilogy? Like oh yes. Yeah. Like three yeah. was three me and Trey, but. Me and Trey rewatched one of the uh, the scenes uh, yesterday. <laughs> Did you? Which one? The Which raining scene? blood. Uh, yeah, blood one of those rainy blood. blood. Yeah, like I love. I grew up with the Blade movies. Like my brother, I started because of my brother. Like my brother was like, "Oh, my parents bought my brother Blade One and all that stuff." And then like it went right. from like him really enjoying Blade to like me taking over and like just like <laughs> like now they yeah. bought yeah. Blade Two for me and you know Blade Three for me because like nice. I just Blade was phenomenal and I think Blade I like Blade Two a lot. A lot of people don't like Blade Two. I don't know why Blade Two is phenomenal. Um, but Blade One is just great. I and I know it's not Wesley Snipes, and I know I should not have expected Wesley Snipes. I, I mean, I still want Wesley Snipes, but I'm okay with it because I just want. I like. I, I'm very intrigued to see how he fits in the MCU in general. Like, what are they going to use him for? Because as much as I love Blade, and I do, and I'm super stoked that it's, there's there's another Blade movie. Mm-hmm. I just don't know about his utility yet. So I'm excited to see what kind of utility they give for him that no one else in the team can provide. Yeah. So I think with the Multiverse of Madness. We may peer into like the darker side of of Marvel. Mm. Like we'll get like Marvel Knights and stuff. You know, Marvel oh, rated. Like I mean, or we R-rated. we could end up seeing like <laughs> Marvel. There you go. Rated M for Marvel. <laughs> rated M for Marvel. Uh, yeah, I would love to see Moon Knight uh, come in. Yeah, that'd be that'd be awesome. I think Moon Knight would make for a pretty interesting character for the MCU. But I think. Since it's vampires and the whole multiverse, and you know, yeah. there's a Morbius movie in the works. It could all tie in together. There's a Morbius yeah. movie in the works. Yeah, you didn't know about that. No. Yeah, there's a Morbius movie. Oh, Jared Morbius! Morbius. Morbius. I thought you said Morpheus. <laughs> like, yeah. <what>? <laughs> okay. Which I would watch that. To be honest. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So okay, so I'm super stoked for play. That was probably my favorite thing that got announced out of the whole thing. Yeah. Um, and uh, apparently, uh, Kevin Feige said that um, Mahershala Ali actually approached him about bringing Blade to the MCU. Cool. And that's kind of how the whole thing started, which I thought was pretty mm-hmm. neat. See, what's the Snipes? He, he was one what of the producers for the, for the original trilogy. Mm. So I could see him coming into this new one still and being like, being um, Blade, like, Mentor, like well, if he's like maybe he'll at least get a cameo or something. Yeah, like that would be kind I of. I think, cool. I think it, for him to be his mentor, like uh, the guy who like makes makes his weapons, like yeah, that would fight be really like cool. That, I think that would be really cool. Like he would be, uh, he'd be uh, Whistler. Yeah, exactly. Be, yeah, that'd be really cool. Oh man, I'm gonna have to rewatch that trilogy just because. I man. hope I I hope it's rated R. It's it, for yeah. reals. Like I know I know it's not a Disney yeah. thing. But I'm telling you, Disney, if you make Blade rated R, well, Deadpool's rated R. Yeah. yeah. So fuck it. Just do it. It deserves it. Yeah. Yeah. Please. I want that Dark Marvel, dude. Dude. Oh, Marvel Knights. And Bring Blade's such Rider. a rated R character. Like. Oh, you know, yeah, he is. For hardcore. sure. Hardcore. So give that to yeah. me. Like, give me, well, give me yeah, Marvel Knights, right. dude. Mm. I want to see the, like, the dark, occult, like, evil side of Marvel. Like, right. please yeah. give me that. And that's a movie, oh, right? Please. Not a show. It's a movie. It is a Correct. movie. Cool. So what's this other Thor thing that I'm missing? Because I didn't understand this. Um, it, it's not a Thor thing. It's just a Marvel thing. It's an animated show. Um, so this will be on uh, Disney Plus as well. It's called uh, What If? Um, and it's So it's animated and it's narrated by um, the guy from... Uh, what's the world? Westworld. Um, what's oh. his name? Jeffrey? Jeffrey something? Oh, um... I forget his name too. Hang on. Who, like what Jeffrey. character do you play? Uh, he's the the doctor with the glasses. 
He was the oh the Bernard, Bernard. Yeah. wait is yeah. it Bernard Bernard yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah oh Bernard's gonna do it yeah, yeah. so he's awesome. he plays he's playing a watcher who uh, goes through these little like what if scenarios okay um, and the rest of the MCU is reprising their role as their characters so but it's a show yep it'll but be an animated an, show and it's a what if like so does that so mean, just, yeah like what if scenarios get Tony Stark back like no. He's not casted. He was not casted in it. Cast it's a show, okay? It can both, happen. both Captain Captain Marvel or it's Captain, 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 America. Captain America and so uh, Chris Evans Tony Stark were not casted in it. Robert Downey Jr. That's cool. Whatever, ruin my dreams. I didn't want them anyway. So, like for examples, for some of the what if scenarios, there's like what if Spider Man joined the Fantastic Four, or what if Captain America hadn't vanished during World War II. Mm-hmm. Just things like that. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Like, what if X Men died on their first mission? You know, okay, no biggie. Yeah, so something fun. Yeah, yeah, just uh, talk about <laughs> scenarios. They're pretty fun. Tim seems reasons. really thrilled about it. Super. <laughs> I mean, okay, so there's like, you know, what if the Hulk had the brain of Bruce Banner, which is that we have that know what happens there. <laughs> um, what if Doctor Doom? Became a hero. That's a pretty interesting one. I've been reading happened. that one. He hasn't kid. become a villain yet. Uh, this says, uh, "What if Spider-Man had never become a crime fighter?" And this is when we get the uh, Doctor Strange of Spider-Man. Could get Miles Morales. I want Miles Morales. Yeah, really multiverse, all. dude. Multiverse of madness. Dude. Yeah. There we go. Bring That's, them all in, dude. There's uh, Spider-Man uh, into the multiverse is still the best Spider-Man movie. Oh, even, yeah. even even above, I, I would rank. I would rank, you know, Far From Home was okay. It wasn't bad. It wasn't amazing. It wasn't bad. It was. I fun. really liked it. I think Homecoming was better, but I still write Into the Multiverse probably the best, even though it's animated. Like I had to sit there and really contemplate that, but I'm just like, it's too good. Yeah. And I want yeah, the dude all... who voices Miles to be Miles. Like he could totally do it. Yeah. Wait, what? Easily. The guy who voices Miles in oh. Into the Multiverse. I think he could he's, do it. He's kind of. Older. Yeah, he? Can do. yeah. Oh. Maybe I'm thinking of someone else then. Uh, Donald Glover voiced him, which he could. He might. Wait, Donald Glover didn't voice the dude in Into the Multiverse, did he? No, not in mm-hmm. the Multiverse, no, but he's he's voiced him before. Oh. In like TV shows. He voiced shows him in the, the, the recent cartoon show. I know Donald Glover was. I mean, Miles is he's already definitely confer- too old. To- Miles is also, is definitely confirmed already. Like he's in the yeah. MCU, so it's not like he's For not sure. there. What do you mean he's confirmed? He's confirmed. Donald Glover's character in in Homecoming. Yeah. Right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I see what you're saying. It's just a yeah. matter of. Yeah. yeah. He's like, yeah, I got a little little nephew. He's yeah. just like you. Yeah. Yeah. And and we're all like, ah. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I lost my shit. <laughs> I lost my shit. Yeah. Hmm. Well, that uh, that's that's all we had announced. Yep. I know it wasn't a whole lot. I know Tim was pretty Love disappointed. <laughs> What'd you say, Trey? We're not gonna talk about Love and Thunder. We did. We did. That we happened. did. Yes. Yeah. Did I ignore all we of it? We talked about Jane and everything. We, yeah, we were there. Hi, Trey. Trey. Welcome to the podcast. Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> well, just I just want Beta Ray Bill. Damn it, that's all I want. Okay, there you go. Trey wants Beta Ray Bill. Ba- that's his input. <laughs> they've, been, they've been teasing him for for three fucking phases. I want my goddamn beta ray bill. Okay. Well, we all want a new Game of Thrones ending, but you know. <laughs> we can... Oh my gosh. <laughs> How do you? Okay, Tim. They teased beta ray bill for three phases. Mm. Of Marvel movies. Okay. Do you know how upsetting that is? And well, didn't they confirm that he's in it because his face was on that statue thing in Ragnarok? I want to see him. I want to what see about Beta Black Ray Adam? Bill. Wait, what? not Black Damn. Adam. That's Hang DC, on. dude. Wrong, wrong. Oh, God. Wrong person. Uh, what the fuck's his name? He got, he got Guardians 2, end of it. Adam. They called him Adam. Adam. Oh, Adam, Adam, Adam Warlock. Yeah. Adam Warlock. Adam Warlock. Jesus, Black Jesus. Adam. My God. I about, mm, here's my fucking nerd see, card. The, see, now there's rumors <laughs> on that where... Keanu Reeves Warlock. maybe playing him. That would be cool. He could play um, everybody. We also He's Keanu so Reeves would be playing right the one now. above all. Mm. He wants to be um, in everything. So Adam but, Warlock needs to happen, but you know, for sure, for sure, I definitely want him to happen. He's been teased for several movies too. Mm-hmm. 
but Beta Ray Bill, man, he's just it's Beta Ray Bill. I want that character in, in a movie, man. They had a a head of one of the people of his races in in the in the movie. They yeah. had a skull of a person from his race. They had freaking Stormbreaker, but they can't have Beta Ray Bill in the movie. Like, please just do it. Maybe you guys one spend day all this money on CG. You guys can do it. Maybe one make day. Beta Ray Bill great again. Get that one. And on that note. And on that note. Yep. Well, that that covers our uh, our Marvel Hall H uh, <laughs> coverage, and that actually brings us to the uh, the end of the podcast too. Um, so I'd, I'd I'd leave you guys with a uh, question: what What villain would you like to most see in uh, in Phase Four? Uh, let us know in the uh, in the comments in our Discord. Let us know uh, who you'd like to see as a uh, as a big bad, or even not a big bad, a little bad, a little medium bad, bad. a little bad. Little bad. Some, there's, bad. There's one right just, answer. Just, just a, little, just a little bit. Just, just, just um, a little bad guy. So, yeah, what uh, what kind of villains you'd like to see? Yeah, you can give us multiple answers. I, who fucking cares? Um, <laughs> what villain you'd like to see in Phase 4? Um, so we'll uh, we'll leave it off there uh, for Episode 60. Uh, next episode on Episode 61, we're actually going to be starting our Summer of Streamers. Uh, granted, it's a little late into the summer, but that's not going to stop us from bringing on some guests. Um, right. We've already got a few lined up for you. Some of them you know, some of you um, might not know yet. So we're excited to bring them on and kind of talk to them about uh, their careers, what they've been into lately, um, along with some of our other normal topics. Um, so make sure you check that out. Um, subscribe to us on your uh, platform of choice. We're on Spotify, iTunes, Google Podcast, and um, YouTube. So uh, definitely leave us a review if you like our content. Let us know what you'd like to see next. And we'll see you in a couple weeks. Bye, friends.